Boom, what happens? 5 a.m., truck breaks down. Savannah broke the truck. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it off. I, I, that's what they need to do. Perfect. No. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Thursday morning? We are at the Lawn and Landscape Society in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, sponsored by Kohler. Check everybody out. Ow. Sir, can you wave? I'm trying to do the intro. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, guys, we're getting ready to start the event. This is going to be an awesome time. Super proud of everybody that's involved, everybody that took care of everything. Let's have a great time, TQ. Let's go. The biggest takeaway, guys, from this is some of you guys have been in the industry for maybe a year. Some have been a long time. We're not all here to teach. We're here to learn and be and teach. So please share amongst each other. This is a community we're trying to strengthen and grow. How is everybody doing on this beautiful Thursday morning? I do want to say, Wally, Leah, you guys did a great job. I know it's not easy to hop up here and stand in front of people. I've never personally done it shaking, myself. Honestly. I'm not shaking that bad. I swear. I told everybody before we uh, got started, if I pass out, just drag me to the side and don't let a man give me mouth to mouth. There's too many cameras in this room right now. Okay? Okay. All right, guys, so a little rundown of us. You're going to see the video playing here. You guys know pretty much what we do. Uh, we're a husband and wife team, uh, kind of self-developed self into that uh, through hiring, you know, not being able to hire employees. Uh, we service right around 70 clients a week for lawn care, and we service right around 22 commercial and residential FOB customers as of now, if it would snow. So we've had four events in Ohio. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same uh, instance as we are, and it's just not snowing this year, right? Kind of moving on. Did you want to stay up here with me here? No, I'm going to film. Oh, okay. She's like, I'm not staying up there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't know who we are, we're Spencer's Lawn Care. We run YouTube. We do Instagram. And uh, currently, as of right now, we're coming up on about 55,000 followers total. And we appreciate a lot of you. Uh, we know a lot of you follow the journey. And it has been absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Right here, I was supposed to cue in bringing out a plant. Okay, I didn't have to know how everything. I was supposed to run the lows yesterday and get a little tree or plant or something. But uh, I want you guys to kind of imagine in your mind your business as a plant, okay? And what does a plant require, you know? It requires some time, it requires sunlight, it requires water. And if you don't give it this thing, just like your business, what's gonna happen to it? Die. It's gonna die, exactly, right? So you have to look at your business as a plant, you know, a tree, whatever. You have to give it something every single day whenever you wake up, okay? So if you were in myself and Savannah's home, uh, you would see that we have a list on the wall that we do. A lot of people ask us every day, how are you guys successful? How do you guys get your business out there? Well, we all know how important SEO is, right? If you don't know what SEO is, I know I was talking to an older gentleman yesterday, and he's like, I have no clue about the internet no clue about social media and I'm like listen you got to get on your game with this stuff because the road evolves around you guys and if you're not willing to stay with it it's going to leave you behind okay I mean you can see it with many businesses I mean look at brick and mortars today malls are closing down all around the world and why is that because we have Google we have Amazon you know things change and if you're not staying with those times it's going to leave you behind so uh Kind of going back to the plant or tree that I really wanted that. I really wanted a tree stand in here, but uh, no big deal. Anyways, so going back to your SEO, okay, and what we do every single day. That's right. Uh, we have a list sitting right next to the office desk, and we make sure we hit all of our points. So as soon as we hop up in the morning, we go on to our Google My Business. Does everybody know what Google My Business is? Yep. Yeah. Very, very important for any of you guys in the back there. Uh, it's an online platform that basically you plug your information through with hashtags, pictures, videos, whatever you want to. And I like to use the, I told Savannah I was going to use this uh, example as a spider web, okay? And you look at your business as a spider, okay? You're in the center of the spider web and you're throwing this web out. And the, the web is your SEO. So you're, you're just trying to collect information, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so your business being the spider, the customers, the customers are what you want to eat, okay? So when you're throwing out all of your SEO, 
You're, you know, hopping on your Google My Business, updating that every morning, hashtagging the junk out of everything, guys. And I just, I don't want you guys to go in there and hashtag like, uh, you know, lawn care. I need you to hashtag it lawn care near me. That is the most searched Google term for any area. And Google breaks it down by your specific area. So if somebody just types in Google my, Google my business, or uh, sorry, lawn care near me on Google, they're gonna link that back to your Google My Business in your area, okay? They're not gonna give you a guy in California or in Canada or something like that. It's gonna be specific to your area. So if you're not using the Google My Business, make sure you guys are using that 100%. So back to our list. We, after we do the Google My Business post, either a video, a picture, uh, sometimes we'll just do a blog, you know? If I'm busy and Savannah wants to get on there and just type something up, we'll just shoot a little blog out to all of our customers or anybody that's searching for lawn care, landscaping, snow removal near us. And it'll just say, hey, spring's coming up here soon. Have you thought about who's gonna be your lawn care provider for 2020? If so, if so, you know, consider Spencer's Lawn Care. Just something real small, uh, something to just kind of get that little bug in their head clicking, you know? Maybe I need to get a, a snow removal company, you know? Uh, up in our area, like I said, we don't have real good snow removal this year, but, you know, people are already starting to think spring. They're already starting to think, hey, we need to get a landscaper. So Google My Business first thing in the morning, and then we'll go on to our Instagram, to our other social medias, our Facebook, and even our YouTube. We started recently just putting like pictures and stuff up. Because like I told you guys, you're the spider, you need to make that web every single day, okay? A spider's web gets destroyed almost every single day. But what's he do? He wakes up in the morning, or whenever spiders wake up, I don't know, and they build a new spider, okay? Or they build a new web, sorry and you just wanna grab all of this data. That's what you're doing. You're just collecting data and you wanna eat it up. You wanna get those customers, okay? So hashtags on Instagram for everything specific to you, okay? If you're JC Lawn Care, you need to be hashtagging JC Lawn Care. Lawn Care near me. Lawn Care Stark County, Ohio. Lawn Care, Ohio. Because that just hones it all in to your search criteria, if you know what I'm saying. Let me scroll down here a little bit, guys. Everybody get what I was saying there, though, with oh, building yeah. that web and just yeah. collecting data there with your SEO? Make sure, guys, if you have questions, raise your hand and ask questions throughout this entire event, please. All right, so I didn't know the seating platform here that we were gonna have today, but I was gonna actually make everybody stand up and kind of just introduce yourselves to, to three or four people, just uh, tell everyone who you were and just uh, you know where you're from, because that's what we're here for. We're here to connect and I absolutely build this community. And I want you guys that if you're if you're here today, talk to everybody. These guys are good guys, they're just like you, they're sweating their butt off every single day. You know, we all have breakdowns. As you guys, you know, if you watch our videos, two weeks ago, man, I was 5 a.m., my truck went down, guys. And I'll tell you what, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. And you know, when you're starting a business, everybody tells you, you know, there's no money in it. Oh, what if your equipment breaks down? What are you gonna do? You only have one mower, you only have one plow truck. But two weeks ago, I went through that specific example, okay? 5 a.m., me and Savannah's out plowing. We got the babysitter there, she's already paid for, everything's good, we're plowing away. Boom, what happens? 5 a.m., truck breaks down. Savannah broke the truck. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. That's that's what they need perfect until she hopped in the driver's wheel. No. She got in that driver's seat, guys, and what happened? No, I'm just kidding. It was absolutely not her fault. It was probably more my fault for a lack of maintenance. But uh, just that for an example, guys, breakdowns are going to happen, okay? Whenever you're starting your business and people are telling you, oh, you can't do it, there's no money in it, you know, you're not going to be able to do it, it's okay. You know, they have that in their mind. You have to prove them wrong, okay? And just know, yes, breakdowns are absolutely going to happen. It's, it's inevitable. We run equipment, we run a car, we run it all day long. It's going to break down. Can you not make money in this business? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you're not uh, marketing yourself well and budgeting properly, you can lose a ton of money in this business. I mean, there's been thousands of guys that have, and gals that have went out of business because they didn't do things properly. And even multi-million dollar companies to this day go out of business because they stop marketing. We were actually talking at dinner last night about TGI Fridays and kind of hit on how their sales have really dropped off. And it, it's just because if, you, if any of you guys remember when we were kids, Fridays was like the spot, you know? Yeah, and you're like, we're going to TGI Fridays, man. We're going to smash some food, it's good. And now everybody's like, TGI Fridays, you know? It, the flame's gone, guys. 
And that kind of goes back to your business, waking up every single day and, and building that web and remembering your business is a plant and if you don't give it exactly what it needs, it's gonna die, right? Or get left behind. But our breakdown is absolutely gonna happen. I mean, is there a guy in here that hasn't dealt with a breakdown or a guy in here that hasn't dealt with a breakdown? I mean, it, oh, you haven't dealt with it? Are you just getting started? Oh, never, never broke it. Never broke anything. Okay, okay. 21 years. Me having fun now. Are you for hire? <laughs> I'm looking for a really good subcontractor. Right now. <laughs> Did everybody understand what I was saying there with you know the plant and building your web and just collecting data and information? I, I can't stress you guys enough. I know. Uh, us being on the platforms we are with Instagram and, and YouTube, it seems as if it might not be important, but you guys as a business owner, you know, the Google My Business, updating your website, staying on top of that, hashtagging everything, that stuff is 100% important. Uh, the Google My Business, like, is there like a charge, is there a fee? What no, sir, it's free. That's what's absolutely yeah. amazing about it, and most people have no clue about it. Yeah. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna go on there, create a Google My Business. Now, what they are gonna have to do, go ahead. Because I have, a, I have a, I get a lot of phone calls. I don't know if you guys, this happens to you. Ever since I signed up with Home Advisor, I get crazy oh, phone calls. Oh, like, oh, hey, oh, you know, oh, I work with Google, you know, I'm gonna advertise your business every single day. You pay $300 a month, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's free, man. All they're gonna do is they're gonna need to verify your address. So wherever you're at, you know, you can verify it. They're gonna send you like a card and then you're gonna plug in a, a password there and then it's gonna verify that you actually live there uh, and that you own the business. So it's, it's great, it's free. As great as I've plugged out here SEO and everything social media wise for your business, it's great. Uh, I also wanna tell you guys, it can be very detrimental and it can ruin your business, okay? A lot of people don't touch on this, uh, and it kind of got popped into my head. I've changed what I wanted to tell you guys about four times in the last three days. But uh, I came across a story the other day of uh, a gentleman that all he did is simply post it on his personal Facebook, uh, you know, just his own personal beliefs for whatever it was. Long story short, somebody screenshot it, sent it to his company. This guy had 27 years in at his company. Okay, He was getting ready to retire. He lost his job. They fired him over this, okay? So then, I didn't think much about it. Later on that day, I'm sitting there just scrolling through Google as I have a little bit of time, and I come across a D1 female that got a D1 scholarship to play softball at a university. Her coach, now you think about how much time she plugged into to honing her craft, how many hours her parents plugged into taking her to practice and travel ball and all of this stuff. She posted on a TikTok or Twitter, I don't remember exactly what it was, just a picture of her and her friends. You know, you know what kids do, 17 years old, you have a little party, you know, they're drinking, yada, yada, yada. Somebody put a picture up, what happens? Coach finds it, pulls the D1 scholarship. Can you imagine putting all of that work into getting that scholarship, busting your butt to get it, and you can use this as an example, guys. You're doing this all for your business, okay? You can build this thing as big as you want, have as many trucks, employees as you want, but one click can take it all away. That's all it takes. One click, one post. And I'm not saying, hey, don't be yourself. Don't, you know, share your own personal beliefs. That's not what I'm saying here. But whenever you're focusing on your SEO, people are searching for your business and who you are. And in today's world, you don't have to call Margaret down the street and say, hey, do you remember Jimmy that mows the grass? How, how is he, you know, is he reliable? No, now you just go on the internet and you Google Spencer Lawn Care and you can find out everything you want about Spencer's Lawn Care, right? Oh, owner Sean Spencer? Well, let's look up Sean Spencer, boom. All right, there he is, okay? You don't wanna be posting pictures on your Facebook that people can find of you being negligent, you being, you know, uh, immature because would you want to hire that person if you're looking to get something done around your house absolutely not you're not you know if you're gonna fix your car you're not gonna hire the guy that you know has no idea about it and he's putting party pictures up every single day about what he's doing and you know you just got to kind of take it into a fact that it can it can hurt you as good as as, as much as it can uh, benefit you so that's pretty much what I have for you guys you know just remember everything that you see guys uh, you know, do your own research. It's kind of like we explained to you in our videos. You know, if you're looking to buy a new mower, that's a large investment, okay? 11, 12, 13, 15, $20,000, whatever you're looking to invest, 
you know, don't take my word for it. Don't take Savannah's word for it or Wally's. I mean, I definitely wouldn't take Wally. I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I love Wally. But uh, you guys know. You go on and do your research, right? You, you can take what we say into account and learn from it. And that's all we are, guys. I hate the word influencer. I, I, I hate that word because then I feel like I'm influencing you to do something. I more or less like to think of us as people just giving out information. All it is is our personal beliefs. It doesn't make or break me if you go buy whatever mower. It, it doesn't matter to me, okay? But you guys have to take the time, invest into everything you're gonna do for your business, just like when you're starting it up. You didn't know where to start from. Do I need to license myself? Do I need to get a pesticide license if I wanna do this, that? You have to start doing research. So anything you do for your business, guys, you absolutely wanna do your research. Don't just take anybody on Instagram, YouTube, no matter what platform they're propped up on, take it with a grain of salt, do your own research, it's your money, you busted your butt for it, and invest in your company smartly. Mm -hmm. So that's really all I have for you guys today. Uh, I did, uh, I wanna say a prayer for everyone here. Uh, if you don't mind, you don't have to join if you don't want to, but I just wanted to pray for everybody here. If you guys all bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this blessed day, guys. Everyone, female, kid, male, that traveled here, I thank you for everybody getting here safely. Lord, I just want to bless that everyone that's here gets something from this event, Lord, that they can take back home and implement it into their business and make them prosperous. And uh, maybe just even like that little spark in their soul that can get them going to, to get going this year, guys. I know we as business owners, sometimes we tend to get down on one another. Or, you know, we have a bad winter as we're going through ourselves. And uh, it, it can be hard to get going, Lord. But I just pray you light that spark in everybody here and that everybody learns something today. And I pray that everybody has safe travels back home. And I thank you guys so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, guys. There you have it, guys. My first ever speaking event. TQ did pretty darn good herself there at the beginning. I was a little shaky, a little scared there for a moment. You did but wonderful. I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you so much, babe. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that showed up and watched the video. And as always, keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace.